Welcome to another book of commentary video. In this video, I'm gonna this gonna be my analysis on the current condition of content creation. The two sites that I'm gonna be really comparing against is the corporate side and content creation and the independent content creation. So what prompted me to make this was kind of well in the tech and uh you know entertainment industry that i follow like vtubing and the tech both has kind of shit the bed the enterprise and in corporate and the youth content creators they all shat the bed and well i might as well be like hey i might as well make a video about it in case someone wants to talk about it or really want to care about my opinion on it. So for the entertainment, um, like planning creation for the really no entertainment focus, what I consider very prime example of just tech of this is Nitsu Sanji. And what and when I was making this video and was researching into their management of like how their how the content, how they manage the content creators that they hire for under the Nisasanji corporate umbrella. My god, this is some really old school, as typical of all corporate um, entertainment. You know, they are basically stuck with, here's a contract that we hired you for. You don't you want to do this content? Cool, we'll pay you, or sometime we'll we'll, we'll give you your share of profit. But at the same time, we're gonna take out your profit as well on top of yeah. Our end, those companies will be forcing you to do content, even if you don't want to do a content. So if you like don't want to do a certain thing, but the corporate's like no on a contract it says you have to do it so like yeah so you'll be stuck doing content that you don't like and basically and sometime if you're like if your management is slow or really restrictive you're not going to be able to do very like timely turnaround and you're not going to be like hey i want to i have this thing to do or hey you know the content you said you hired me for hey here's maybe some evolution yeah this is where corporate and you entertainment phase really really not great it's just good luck getting anything done like getting any changes done outside of what's legally binding oh, and if it for some reason you no longer want the contract well we are just gonna fucking fire you and replace you with a new guy that is willing to be a yes man yes ma'am on the technical front what's a good example of corporate um, content creation is the PC world. For those who don't know, when AMD launched the R9 X3D CPUs, we had an absolute disaster of basically a bunch of reviewers having with the, you know, and then we ended up, PC world accidentally became the poster accidental, the X3D that the R9 X3D chip are broken and are a scam. And when corporate, when the PC World corporate overlords saw that, they'd be like, hot oh, and the AMD's like, hey, that's not good. We have a giant corporate, you know, entertainment channel, a content creation channel, telling us that our product is a scam. That can be bad, extra bad. So, what ended up happening was, well, PC World going among, had to fucking make multiple videos with multiple other kind of creators and be like, hey, it's not a scam. It's not a ripple. Please stop, tell, please stop labeling us as the fucking 
you know, the flagship poster child for X3D is broken and a scam. Did Gorn Mung PC from PC World individually want to make it? Likely not. What did it happen? The higher up told him, hey, you gotta make this, you gotta stop this ble fucking bleeding, and yeah. That is, well, clearly what corporate content creation is. Now on to the independent content creators slash VTubers. One content creators that I consider yeah, very much fit into this category is the the VTuber Miyagi. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. I have no idea how to read your pronunciation. I don't really English sometimes pronunciation for certain conjunction. It just doesn't work for me and I just yeah. For her her content it is what she enjoys and uh, we as community is we're just watching the evolution of her content. The content that she makes, again, it's her what she enjoys on top of what the us what the community wants. It's not some corporate dude, some corporate chairman that has no idea what content creation is and be like, hey, you have to make these, 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 these but we are rather, hey, we we as um you know community want this content. Hey, would you want to make it? Yes, she enjoys making it. Yeah, we'll she go go and make that content. And on top of this, the thanks to a thing that lots the community feel a lot more um community focused. The community hopefully supports her. Now on to the other. The aspect of independent you content creation, the tech YouTuber hardware unbox. Um, this one's kind of not a hundred percent, you know, self-funded, and this hardware unbox he manages to keep a good corporate relation on top of being a good relation of to the community. So like it's walking the fine line. So like Hardware Unboxed will do things like we'll review stuff for the that our community wants, but first we'll ask the manufacturer for that product and be like, hey, our community really wants a review of this. Do you want to send it over? No, or you're gonna send it late? Okay, we'll go spend it. Um, put our money, use our own money, and we buy it and we review it. This is another aspect of independent. I think this and uh, whatever previous example I used, they are both valid, pretty good example of independent content creators. Anyway, here's my view on the current state of content creation for tech and entertainment. This can be really applied from outside of the two fields and in in my opinion, this can apply for both corporate, you know, content create like other things where it's just corp where in the industry where it's you know big giant corporate versus some small indie, small independent you know people doing the same thing in the same field. Anyway, um, also I would like to have some feedback on. How does this video is because for this video I tried doing some stretching of this content and make the um you know the video a bit longer than I would normally like it but if the community is like hey we, we don't want this stretching or hey we just or we don't mind you stretching but can you but you want it a certain way mm, yeah I'm I'm all up for um to get some feedback for this video. Um and anyway, if you like this video, press the like, subscribe button, and if you want to grow this community where it's just me talking to the webcam with a uh, you know AI green screen in the background replacement, yeah, 
Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.